shall oversee the execution of fraudulent and evil more practice that was going to ensure that 1.2 billion of Ghanaians lose their life savings after they shamelessly caused this mess. Today, they are shouting from the rooftop that our attempts to correct the wrongs are leading to a reduction in the, in the rate growth. They are unrepentant in their outlook. They have no remorse for the mess they so mercilessly created. How sinister can a political party be? You will recall that in 2015, the Bank of Ghana did an asset quality review, which revealed that which revealed the eminent close down of a number of banks in this country due to deficiencies in corporate governance. They now unscrupulously are seeking to say that this government is collapsing indigenous banks. Nothing can be Nothing can be further from the truth. What is clear is that the current leadership of the Bank of Ghana is determined to help genuine local banks who follow rules to survive. This is the only way we can build a strong and resilient banking sector and can support our agenda for growth and jobs.